Okay, so here is the 12 inch sealer. Now I have an 8 inch and a 16 inch. Once you figure out, you know, what type of packaging you do and uh, decide on, okay, do I, do you, do you want a little bit wider or shorter? I don't use the 16 inch often, but when I do, it comes in very handy because sometimes before I had the 16 inch, I would have to take the 8 inch, seal it on one side, flip it over and do that. But of course, there are times that I actually need something a little bit bigger than an 8 inch. So I ended up getting a 12 inch also. Now, for the most part, I leave it on 6. Now you can adjust it, but what happens if it's too hot is that by the time it turns off, the, uh, the seal here starts to melt and it basically doesn't seal it properly. Sometimes it'll just open back up. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is the one that you seal on one side and the other side, um, we had that little tab there. So your customers or whoever is gonna be opening it will be able to easily open it. So you just basically sandwich it. I like to keep it um, as close to the product as possible. Um, this is just a used hardware. So I just wanna show you as an example. Um, the light's going to come on here and it automatically shuts off, which is a nice thing. Once it turns off. Now, this one um, is okay, but I might actually turn it down just a hair. Uh, this looks a little crooked, but you get the idea. Now, you can take a, um, obviously just cut it with scissors. Um, if you have multiple, you can use like a, what do you call those little paper cutter things? Um, I forget the name of it, but um, that's really it. Um, if you have cookies or different, you know, um, food products, you might want to, you know, just do like the very end so you don't have to cut it or so you don't accidentally smash or like uh, um, damage the product inside. But so yeah, this is great. Um, over time, uh, you'll need to actually unhook this, and um, this piece right here basically gets burnt. Uh, but you do get a spare, um, I forgot the name of it too, the element, I believe. Um, and basically take these off, the four screws, pop this open. And obviously when you do stuff like this, make sure you have the power unplugged. But other than that, when you don't have it pressed, there is no power. So if you're not using it, obviously disconnect it. But you don't have to worry about leaving it and just getting hot. Because this basically turns off once the sliver comes back up. So it's off right now, it's on. So, there you have it.